What's going on everyone? Sharp Ice here welcoming you back to another The Last of Us Part 1 on the PS5 Collectible Guide. From the previous chapter, The Outskirts, you can see on the screen here all the collectibles that we collected from that chapter. We collected 9 artifacts, 4 Firefly Pendants, 1 Workbench, Shift Doors, and the safes that they combined, and I'll get to that here in a second, and 4 Optional Conversations. Now for those of you taking your notes and following along, make sure that you're documenting your collectibles separately. So that way, when you see this screen here, you won't be misled and you're like, okay, what's going on? I don't know which is what. So just make sure that you're taking your notes, you're following along because those are actually two separate trophies that you can actually unlock as you're progressing through the game. So now we're gonna be heading over to Bill's town. This chapter is pretty long, so we're going to be getting a lot of collectibles here. So just brace yourself for that. You know, get yourself comfortable, you know, get your notes, get that cup of coffee going, you know, and let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Now, the first collectible you're going to get here is once you make this drop here, like a little play area, I got a little basketball hoop there. So you want to proceed into this building right in front of you. Go ahead and open the door and you're going to proceed to the first room on the left. Once you go inside here, the note that you're going to be looking for is going to be right here in the middle of the room. Just go ahead and pick it up. And this will be the first artifact for this chapter. So now once after you collect that artifact, go ahead and head back outside from the same way you came. And you want to head over to this door right here. This is actually going to be a shiv door. So just make sure that you save your shivs just in case because you don't want to miss any because that's going to actually affect whether or not you get the trophy. So just go ahead and use the shiv door here. There you go. There you go. So immediately after Ellie opens this door here for you, proceed into this next building here. So let's say we get a car from this buddy. And this is actually going to trigger the first optional conversation well, for this chapter. Find Tommy. Marlene said he's your brother. So what you need to do is head into this building and just stand roughly right here in this location and just wait for Ellie to come in. Okay. And she's going to spot the arcade and that's where this next optional conversation is going to take place. So once she heads over to the arcade, oh, go ahead and proceed next to her. Once the pop-up appears, go ahead and hit triangle, and there's your next conversation. Would you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Knives who'd... What was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. <laughs> I was never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. So the next artifact that we're going to be collecting, it's actually going to be all the way down the street here. So the reason why we want to get this particular artifact is because it contains a safe code again. Now, for those of you that remember in the remastered version, once you pick up the artifact and go to the safe, Joe automatically opens it. But like I mentioned in my previous video, you have to enter it manually. That's one of the changes they made. And I kind of like it because it gives it more yeah, realism to it. Else so go ahead no, and no, inspect the artifact. Him. And as you can see, the combination for the safe is 051721. Keep that in mind because you're going to need that to unlock the safe. So once you collect that artifact, continue, basically head back up the street here. Now, before we head to the safe, we're actually going to get another art uh, another collectible, which is going to be another Firefly pendant, which is going to be on top of this RV. So climb on top of the police car, get on the roof of the RV, and it should be right here on the right side. Fireflies were everywhere, huh? Yeah, they were. Hoping to restore the country to what it was. Well, with a vaccine, maybe they will. 
Maybe. So now that you collected the Firefly Pendant, go ahead and drop down. And now we can make our way to the safe. We need to head back up the street here. And it's going to be on the left side of that mandatory evacuation sign. Right next to the pickup. So if you remember... From the note, go ahead and enter the code manually. So the code, like I mentioned, is going to be 051721. Voila. So now once you have the safe open, go ahead and head back down the street. I know it's back and forth, but in order to open that safe, we needed to get that safe code from that artifact. And while the Firefly pendant was on the way, it just made sense to collect it. So now go ahead and enter this music store here as the next artifact is actually going to be in the back room. So make your way into the store behind the counter this place and inside this room right in front of the printer is going to be the next artifact so once you've collected the artifact in front of the printer here let's head back out you can actually just climb out this window here i'm gonna go pretty much this back alley and head towards the back of the building wow Jesus. That was great. What? what the hell was that? <laughs> that would be one of Bill's traps. So what you want to do is you want to make your way to this door here as this is going to be another shiv door. Again, make sure you have enough shivs and go ahead and get this door open. He helped us smuggle stuff into the city. Here's your shiv and voila. He knows how to... Once you've dropped down for traveling across the roofs here, go ahead and duck underneath the trip trip mine there and then make your way to the left side here you're gonna see an inf yeah. you're gonna hear an infected yeah. hanging on the door Shit, you're gonna go in there? i want to see what we can find you're gonna find my body when i die from a heart attack don't worry i got this anyway <laughs> yeah these two they kill me with their back and forth banter it's it's hilarious but anyway climb up the stairs and in this room be very careful wait for the infected to come after oh. you and then just go ahead and make your way to the right side, and here's the artifact. That thing scared the shit out of me. Well, while we're here, let's search the place. Whatever supplies you may want or need, I suggest you grab them. All right, thank you. Ellie, take a look around, see if there's anything we can use. All righty. So after the cutscene where you have to escape that part where you were hanging with Bill and Ellie. So now inside this area here, you want to look for this next artifact, which is going to be right here on the table. So go ahead and pick up this artifact. It's going to be quite a few collectibles in this area. So just um, take your time with it and just make sure you collect everything before you proceed on. Because once you go through the next door, you're not going to be able to come back. So the next artifact here is going to be the map that we're looking at. And once you've collected that, Go ahead and make a left and let's head back into this back room here. And the next artifact is going to be right here on the table. Man, he's got a fucking stick up his ass. He's yeah, you ain't you ain't kidding, Eddie. Anyway, so once you're collecting that artifact, head on over to one of the booths uh, next to the one that has the chest uh, set here and go ahead and press triangle because that's going to trigger an optional conversation with Ellie. Hmm. Hey, you know how to play this? Yeah, pretty badly. Yeah. I always wanted to learn. Hey, Bobby Fisher, don't touch anything on that board. Bobby, what? Hey, just let it go. So once Ellie gets scolded, or at Ellie rather, for, for trying to touch one of the chess pieces, head on over to the bar, as this is actually going to be 
a an upgrade and there's quite a few throughout the game but this one here i believe is a shiv upgrade and as you can see we did achieve self-help so a lot of these collectibles will unlock certain trophies so just make sure for those of you who are wanting to collect trophies as well make sure that you follow this guide as i'm gonna assist you in unlocking most of these trophies as well so now once you've collected everyone er, or everything in this Good. area go ahead and wait for bill to open a door he's a real piece of work let me tell you <laughs> all right Ellie, come on don't leave the door open. I got it. See, see what I mean? <laughs> but I, the building, up the stairs. Let's move it. Just stay with me. I tell you, he is more bossy than Tess was. You know. But anyway, head up the stairs and then make an immediate U-turn and head straight into this back room. And the next artifact is actually going to be look on around this up here. Nothing in here that I need. Go ahead and take whatever you want. Thanks. So after the fight with the infected, the next artifact that we're going to, the next collectible rather that we're going to be collecting is actually a firefly pendant. And it's actually hanging from the street light there. See, this one is actually flickering pretty well. Sometimes, you know, you, you really have to look. Or another way to do it is equip your gun. It will exact, it will show you exactly the location on if it's hanging on a tree or just hidden somewhere. But really, uh, equip your gun for just um, to, to, to find the actual location for it. But don't waste your bullet. You know, there's plenty of bricks and bottles around. You definitely want to save your ammo. So go ahead, just equip the brick here or a bottle, whatever you prefer. And then just chuck it at the pendant. And there we go. So after you collect the nail bomb that bill presents to you so we got you want to head bombs. over to this big area over here weeks, this and this next collectible is actually going to be the tool upgrade be now these are going to be important because it's going to allow you to further upgrade your weapons so make sure that you're getting these toolboxes because as you progress through the game you're going to collect more and more weapons but you want to make sure that you're able to upgrade them because I wanted to get it, but it's Depending on your difficulty, this is really gonna come in handy. Fuck it. Joel needs a car. Hey, what if it's damaged? Nah. Those trucks are like tanks. So it's after you collect there. that my work. tool upgrade, go ahead and head over to the left side because this is gonna be the next workbench here. And just like before, you go I ahead and upgrade this. it how you see fit. But I want to show you something here real quick. When you look to where your parts are right next to it that's going to show you exactly the level of tool that you have so for now being that we got the first level for the tool upgrade we can go ahead and now equip the long holster so i'll, I'll go, go ahead and do that and this is going to allow you to hold multiple long weapons like your rifle and the bow at the same time so that way you can see it so let's go ahead and craft that real quick You know, and I do like the detail on this, you know, before, you know, yeah, you saw how they were like Joe modding his weapons, but nothing to this degree. You know, this is very, very well detailed. And I like all that the details that they did add to this version. And also go ahead and do the secondary holster for your sidearms. Because now you can, you know, again, the same thing with the long weapons. You'll have two holsters and you'll be able to see the weapons on Joel's person as when you complete the upgrade for the for the secondary holster. And I, as you can see, I can't do anything else from here, so I'll go ahead and just exit out from here. That'll do. So once you're finishing or finish collecting your weapons and you know working on the workbench and whatnot. Go ahead and follow Bill up these stairs here. It's just weird how he picked the church as a safe house, but I mean I get it. 
Nice you know, place I mean, you got. What better way to be holed up than inside of a church, right? Fast, this would be the place to do it. Yeah, no kidding. But anyway, the next artifact is actually going to be in Bill's bedroom here. That's not the confession. You want to go ahead and make a room. turn, and right, it's right here on this table. So once you get into the area where you see like a back alley, go ahead and head over to this first house over here. Like I mentioned in my previous videos, you want to go ahead and make sure that you take these guys out before going after the collectibles, just in case they may sneak up on you or you were a little bit too loud because that's the last thing you're going to want is having this infected come after you. So head over into this house here and then turn right. And in this bathroom here, the next collectible is going to be the firefly pendant right here next to the toilet. So once you drop down from the tree house, go ahead and proceed into this house here. And let's just go around Bill because he's walking too slow. So we're just going to head upstairs. And the first collectible that we're going to get is actually going to be on the Wright's bedroom here. It looks like a child's room. So the artifact right here, this little uh, uh, chest, uh, dresser. So go ahead and pick it up. And immediately following this, Ellie's going to come into the room and that's going to trigger an optional conversation. Hey, you got a second? Go ahead and hit triangle and then they'll proceed uh, con conversing. Yeah. I, I just want to say I'm sorry about Tess. That's it. I, I won't bring it up again. Ellie, you don't need to worry about me. You should go check on Bill. Okay. So after you get into Frank's house, you guys are going to be inside of the garage. So after the cutscene and whatnot, Bill's going to tell you to go ahead and search the rest of the house. So then how I get it to trigger, I go ahead and collect the weapons from the duffel bag here. And then I'll go ahead and speak to Ellie. Go ahead and trigger that. And that'll be your next optional conversation. You want to be okay with this? Yeah, not a problem. You're doing a good job. I figured you should know that. I won't let you down with this. <sighs> so after you speak with Ellie inside the garage, go ahead and make a about face and Let head over to the to back face, room. I'll give you a holler. Because there's going to be a note that Frank left to Bill. It's going to be right here on top of this dresser. Once you've collected the note, go ahead and return back to the garage. Because this is going to trigger another optional conversation. Because what's going to happen is uh, Joel's going to give Bill the letter hey. that Frank wrote. Bill, I uh, found this in there and I, uh, I figured you should have it. Well, that's how you feel. <laughs> well, fuck you too, Frank. <sighs> Fucking idiot. You ready to go? So now this next collectible is actually going to trigger a trophy. So you need to make sure that you pick up this note here because after being that the fact that it's crumbled, it's going to count as another artifact. And it's also going to trigger the trophy in memoriam. Go ahead and pick it up. And there you go. You get the trophy and you get the artifact. So you get a two for one. This one. There you have it, guys. That's the that's all the collectibles for Bill's Town. So, guys, if this guide has helped you, as before, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel as I will be continuing on until we complete the game entirely. And it also helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So please consider liking and subscribing if this guide has helped you in any way, shape or form. And for those of you taking notes, rest assured that I guarantee that everything in this chapter has been collected. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in. If you have any questions in general, just leave it in the comment section and I'll be sure to reply to you shortly. So without further ado, I will see you guys in Pittsburgh. And
And as always, stay sharp, my friends.